Among the palm trees of sunny Bradenton, Florida, Xavier Thomas seemingly towers over them all. Standing six foot three and weighing more than 260 pounds, Thomas has grown into an intimidating presence for opposing offenses. My mindset is just uh, you either be dominant or you be dominated. And I just go out there and try to embarrass my opponent and just do the best that I can. A fearsome pass rusher, Thomas is not only considered the top defensive end prospect in America, but also the nation's number one ranked recruit in the class of 2018. Boost my self, um, self esteem up. I mean, the way I work for and coming up from middle school to here, I mean, I came a long way. Get a rhythm, get a rhythm. And just to see all my work pay off and to be ranked that high is a blessing. I don't really get let it get to me. I mean, I'll stay humble just like if I wasn't ranked at all. That's what my mom always tells me to stay humble and grounded and keep working like you were never ranked. Thomas possesses a rare combination of power and quickness with an ability to burst into an opponent's backfield and create headaches for offensive coordinators. I think the first thing is, you know, he, he's so explosive and powerful. We've done different drills, you know, on the field and where we, we tape almost everything we do. So you go in and you're watching, you're watching video footage and, you know, and, and I can watch two defensive ends on both sides of the ball and, and just the takeoff where we're two seconds into the play or point set one second into the play and, you know, he's already taken a step and the other guys don't even have his stance yet and the other guy's pretty good. You know, so, you know, I think that explosiveness, you know, he's a very, very powerful guy. Um, he's very driven, you know, as a young man, you know, to be the best uh, student athlete he can be. You know, I think that uh, he wants to be a high achiever in life. And uh, so I think all those things together, you know, have kind of gotten him to this point. At the end of his junior season at Wilson High School in Florence, South Carolina, Thomas announced he was transferring to IMG Academy for his senior season. The move allows Thomas to focus on preparing for life as a college football player but it takes him away from his family and the town he grew up in. My best memory from there is just my, my friends and my family there. And being a, growing up, playing Little League and playing with my um, friends in high school, I mean, it's, it's been a fun experience back home, but I mean, they understood why I came here and the opportunity I had here, and they were happy for me. It was there in Florence where Thomas grew into a man away from the football field. In 2001, when Xavier was still an infant, his father, Ezra Thomas, was sent to jail where he remained until his release in 2010. Less than two years after his release, Ezra found himself in trouble with the law once again, and in 2012, he was sentenced to 90 months in prison. Through it all, Xavier remains close with his father. He's a very wise man. He gives me a lot of advice about how he made his mistakes. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. And he tells me how um, to just stay on my schoolwork, stay working um, on our field, stay out of trouble. It just gives me good advice. Xavier heeds his father's counsel as he focuses on schoolwork instead of making the same mistakes Ezra has made. Xavier maintains a 3.4 GPA and plans to major in business in college. When it came time to decide which college to attend, Xavier again sought his father's advice. He was the reason I grew up a USC fan because he grew up like in USC also. But he, he wasn't biased towards USC. He actually put his fan base aside and listened to the Clemson coaches and listened to the USC coaches. And he agreed with my decision to commit to USC, come at Clemson. Xavier credits much of his success to his mother for helping him stay on the right path during turbulent times. She's been very important in my life. My mom raised me um, while my dad was locked up. And, I mean, my grandparents have also, they played a big role also. My grandparents and my mom. My mom has been doing a really good job. She's been with school. I mean, I had some troubles in school when I was growing up. She helped me through it all. Xavier's maturity in his personal life has helped mold him into a model teammate who leads by example. There you go. Thomas is a fixture in the weight room, constantly pushing himself to get better. The first thing is he is a worker. I mean, and he, he's a very humble kid. He, he understands that things just don't happen. You know, he's been blessed. God's blessed him with some great physical tools, but he understands that he, he has to continue to work and develop to be who he can be and who he wants to be. You know, so, you know, that's, that's something that stands out. How humble he is and um, he just has a great work ethic. Um, he's coachable. He's not a guy that says a lot of things. He doesn't have to say a lot of things. You know, he, his work ethic is what, you know, drives him and, and other guys see that and that, you know, pulls other guys around him. I mean, I think that you know, there's different ways to lead and, you know, he's a quiet leader, but he, he, he leads by example on the football field and, and off the field and how he works. Thomas works tirelessly to ensure he one day reaches his ultimate goal playing in the NFL. Of course, I'm dreaming as a little kid, make it to the league. But I just want to start off my freshman year, put my name out there, and show that I can compete against the best of the best in college football in the ACC. And then after my sophomore year, get those goals and compliments. And my junior year, most likely, either get, if I don't get drafted in the first round, 
and I'll probably play my senior year, and hopefully I'll get drafted in the first round. I'm blessed enough. You know, he has that potential. I mean, he, you know, he has to continue to develop. I mean, he has to learn schematically. He will be prepared, and I mean, we've, we've seen that transition from Shea Patterson last year at Ole Miss to Isaac Knott at Georgia, Ricky Aguayo at Florida State. I mean, you've seen all those things happen where our guys have gone from being, you know, here in December as high school seniors right into spring practice in January and then contributing, you know, game one, game two, you know, come the fall. So, yeah, he has that potential. As bright as his future appears, Thomas knows there's still room for improvement. Running to the ball, like, after plays, um, during plays on the quarterback throw the ball. Coach Logan is always big on us about keep running to the ball and hustling every play. I mean, at my old school, I mean, I hustle, but I didn't hustle as much as I got here. Also, I've been improving my strength, and my first stuff has gotten pretty quicker with Coach Logan and his drills. And we're working on my hands better. My hands have gotten a lot better since I've been here. Considering he's already viewed as one of the best players in the nation, it's exciting for Clemson fans to think about the impact Xavier could make in the ACC as he continues to improve.